it in, yeah, in the yeah. box. You oh, need that? I, I have it, but I don't have the box. Uh-huh. I got All the it. contents are sealed on that. Oh, oh my God. The box, one end's been, the, the tape come loose, but, but nothing's ever been. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So we are at the Gwinnett or um, toy show. Oh. Oh. If I could get in here real quick, here's something you've never seen. 1966 Ideal Batman. I know, I'm going to actually set up. Pull the, the stick, well, that's not really so anyway. Yeah. I love the Oh, he got some of your Braves stuff. Yeah, I got the Braves stuff. Oh, he got some of your Braves stuff. Okay, I'll get out of the way. Brave Star. Yeah. Doors. Oh, there's the monsters. Mm -hmm. The Hulk. No, oh, that's 181. Yep. A bunch of Beetle Beasts. I know, I was just saying I, I'm going to work on that. Oh, yeah, well, Chips. Wow, that's something you don't see. Yeah. There's Inspector Gadget. Dark Ring Duck. Oh no. Let's see. Inspector Gadget. A lot of stuff I'm working on. See. Mm -hmm. From see. Tiger, yeah. Last action hero. Lots of Toy Biz X Men and lots of uh, Batman. Yeah, I see. Oh, you can go up there. Land of the Lost, yeah. Lots of figures. <laughs> Sequest. There's a whole case full of Sequest figures. Robotech. The Tick. Ultra Force. Hook. Three bucks, two dollars. There's what you need. Oh, yeah. Good morning. 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 Well, Burke's supposed to be here at 9, I think. So it's just a few doing coffee. Oh, they got coffee available here at 1 yeah. here? Yeah, not good. It's coffee. It's yeah. yeah, it's coffee. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I've been a poor, poor man all my life, okay? Yeah. I am not a pristine gourmet coffee right now. Yeah, I will survive. Coffee's coffee. What uh, is original Kenner Predator, more. Yeah. Why is this coffee great? Juice? <laughs> yeah. One time when we were going to the drag races, and even Kimberly will attest to this, we got in the van, and this was when we had the van, and there was a Pepsi there. Mm -hmm. And Kimberly goes, uh, Dad, how old is this? He says, I don't know. And he picked it up, and he's looking at it, looking at it. Looking. He said, well, there's nothing floating on the top, so it's okay. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Ramble to yeah. you. Chunks of oil on it. Oh, God. Yeah. These, are, these are hard to come by. No, no, no. Batman. Black oh, star. there go you. Big here. Uh oh. 30 30. Oh, the two pack. The two pack, but look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a bit much. Right. The gray skull dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. yeah, 30 30 for 7. Yeah. I know. That's every dime and this got. two piece, I, uh, these are two pieces I don't have either. Yeah. Yeah. Is the and that the, the two pack and the thirty thirty? That's a shame. But you know, you always see stuff you don't have. Yeah, and then when you see it, it costs too much. We got this the other day. Mm, a ton of Dick Tracy. Yeah. Big toy biz, lots of toy biz. Yeah, there's a few. Or a communicator. Um, 
I want to say there's maybe six of them. In there. <laughs> I don't know if all six are left. But <laughs> Yeah, this the Tanya? Yeah, we got it too. We got lasagna and More chips. Japanese versions. Mm-hmm. Pretty much here in the zone. I'm in the draw for a minute. Good, uh, Tom, you can take it. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll get this table called. He's going to be here in an hour. How many tables do you want? You have the lowest price. Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Tramp joint clothes. Wow. Oh, these are all loose figures. Yeah. Definitely not looking dead though. Oh. That's good. Like, yeah. 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 I remember this too. A little wind up Pac Man. Um, yeah, like, mm -hmm. those are all like serious. Uh, A lot of loose figures. Vision. Yeah, I, I keep getting those uh, for Christmas, which is really sweet because people know what I'm into, but I have like four of them now. I was like, oh, you wanted some bags, yeah. Oh, he got a bunch of bags, yeah. Yeah, let's try to do the train. Just do those two? Yeah. That's oh, fine. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Indiana Jones. Uh-huh. Look at that giant, uh... That looked like that Star Wars figure you got. Yeah, it's the same one, they just redressed it. Mm -hmm. Batman, not Batman. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I love it. Yeah. 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 Ye
How's it going? Yeah, it's going good. Darren, are you, are you good with what we got here, bro? Yep. All right, then let's get, we're, we're, we're at 10 minute mark. We gotta get the, the Ghostbusters Ghost biker mask. Right it's, it's only monsters. Okay. Um, I've got silver uh, monks up there. Uh, I got everybody else up. Okay. Snake mountain. So if nothing else, you just want me to slide them in Big Boy, and we'll just slide Big Boy under the table. Yeah, I got lids back here. So sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, lucky him. By who? Oh, Cletus. Cletus. <laughs> he's not even on the lunchbox. I think he's on the bottom. On the back? <laughs> oh, that's Cooter. No, Cletus isn't on no. the box. That's right, because primarily it was always, uh, oh, what is his name? Deputy Straight. Yeah. Enos. Yeah, Enos Straight. The frame tray for that. Mm-hmm. Bunch of cars. Die cast cars. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Needs to wind up. Yeah. <laughs> Princess power. Yeah. Oh, strawberry shortcake, the little stove. Yeah, from the house. Got some weight on it. Yeah. I wonder if that's the bigger figure of the regular one. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Jason. I don't remember that vehicle. Yeah, I don't know. You're looking at it's it's complete. Oh is it uh opened or it's open. Oh yeah, I see. It's complete though. Hmm. I remember that vehicle. You do? Yes. guy looks familiar. Yeah, it's the Colonial Warrior, Warrior 12 inch from Battlestar Galactica. I thought that looked like There's a better. Johnny freaking Hero. Uh oh. Yeah. David know who that is. That's it? I think so. I might consider that. They got those G.I. Joes you like. Yeah. They got the black guy. The, no, he isn't. So he oh, he's not just, black? He's just burned up. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, no. Look black to me. Yeah. Oh, there go the guy, Carter. Welcome back, Carter. Yeah, the, uh, that's the uh, Chem Toy John Travolta. <laughs> oh, they're all the toy things.
Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, we got the same taste. <laughs> great. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Todos están por separado, por por conejo, por perro, por gato.
one you like better? Yeah, I was trying to see if there was difference, and, and so she comes with hands and different hair color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. My wife gave me my allowance, and I gotta be very picky about it. I get it. I get it. You stay <laughs> Just got here. Yeah, I know. Well, you get an early bird and all, yeah. all that. Early bird gets the worm yeah. again. Wow, that's a lot these of are cups. Those are really classic. Those oh. are really classic. A lot of people laugh at those. What do you guys on a collector's call? What collector's call? You don't know what collector's call is? Nope. Oh never never yeah. heard of it. Google it. You know the girl from, uh, what was that TV show? The Facts of Life? Uh, the, the real pretty one, the stuck up one? She, Blair. She hosted and she goes around to collectors uh -huh. and, uh, you know, shows their display. And most of the time, the people collect one thing, and at the end, she brings in somebody that wants to trade something, and it's the collector's call on whether they want to trade. I see. And uh, you just wouldn't believe the collections they they go to. It, it looks similar to the video. Oh wow. Y'all should definitely be on the call. Yeah, good. Good. It comes on every Sunday at six thirty. I can't remember what channel. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, that one. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, the bike. Oh, oh, sorry. Better take that to the car. Look at the old clue. It's a Woolworth, Woolworth and Wool Woolco. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool right there. Yeah, the Jetsons. Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's that one? Barney Welcome Miller. back, Carl. Oh, Barney, Barney Miller, Miller had a board game? Everybody had a board game. Wow. See? Look, Beretta. <laughs> We had the sign that says. Rack toys. Yeah. Batman handcuffs. Venom shirt. What's this one? Oh, uh, jeez. I don't recall what this is called. It's uh, Whitman, I know that. Mm. But I don't remember the name of... It's like, it's some kind of fairy, fairy tale thing. Mm. Like you see, this is um, that's Goldilocks. It almost looked like um, Mr. Rogers' uh, make believe. Little Red, Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, okay. I don't remember the name of the series though. Oh. 
Gypsy, Rockabye Baby, mm -hmm. Brenda Bride, Mother Goose. You get the idea. Yeah. But I don't remember the series. You don't ever see those. No, I've never seen that before. And Captain Planet. I wanted to get some of the Captain Planet toys. Secret Sam. <laughs> yeah. No, the shirts. T-shirts. And so there you go. We are back from the Gwinnett Toy Show. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so, so uh, And hey to everybody who saw us at the show and said hello. We had a bunch of people come up to us, yeah. which is surprising. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it's weird. It you know, ain't it's weird. weird, but it's nice. Yeah. But, um, because, you know, you know, like, oh, yeah, everybody seems to know you suddenly. But, uh, <laughs> that's okay. And we had some pickups. Mm -hmm. There's a couple other things there I wish I could have gotten, but yeah. it just, it just, uh, wasn't in the cards today, unfortunately. But, yeah. You know, it is what it is. Some of you can probably guess. Yeah. If you looked at the video, you can probably guess what it was, but I was just like, oh, I can't quite do it today. Yeah, you needed to have a windfall. You know, your <laughs> tax return need to just come in. Yeah, or right. You, For those um, of you who get one. Yeah, or you get a um, a lottery scratch-off win. Mm. Uh, then you would have did real good. Yeah. But, you know. So we have our pickups for yeah. the day. So we'll get started. I'll start with this. Martin, are you watching? I'm teasing Martin. Axelrod. It's Axelrod, the indestructible bank. I bet you I can break it. Yeah. But no, it's, uh, and he still has the sticker on the bottom. He's missing the plug though, but the sticker is there. And I have a couple of these. They were made in like 1971 by My Toy. And they come in like several different colors, and they're made in plastic and ceramic. Okay. And I've got. A yellow one and a brown one already with the teardrop because they came with and without a teardrop and the Basset Hound is crying. Axelrod, Axelrod is sad sometimes. Yeah, because he got, don't have enough money. I got two. Yeah, I know. You bust him open and you take all his money out. But uh, I've got the yellow and the brown one with the tear and now this is the yellow one without the tear. The, there's a blue, the blue one's tough. So, Axelrod. Aww. <laughs> Mm -mm. I also picked up the 1975 Ideal Jaws game, and I do believe it is complete. I do believe this is complete, and with the instructions. Oh, that's the instructions cool. are in here. It's just a, a goofy toy. You know, let's make a board game of Jaws. How do you make a board game of Jaws? Well, we'll make a functional toy slash game. Some of you are familiar with it. You know, you get all the little pieces of colored junk, which... They don't look like this, by the way. It's like a flat. It's either white or blue. There's no, like, colors like this. And you fish them out of his mouth with a little hook. And somebody colored on this yeah, one a little bit. Yeah, right here. Yeah, there's a little bit of coloring on it. It's but like that. I don't know. Maybe it's blood. Maybe somebody got ate up. Mm. But, um... But still, you got this it. Is, and the box is, cool. is in good shape. Yeah, the box is actually pretty good, except for the coloring. Yeah. But I had I had this when I was a kid. Oh, that's cool. So I was like, oh, yeah, let me grab that. And then finally, see if anybody recognizes what this is. What's that, guys? Do you know? Do you know? No. Well, if you don't, I will tell you. This came in a red or a blue box. Mm -hmm. And it says Olympic Hero, a.k.a. Johnny Hero, made by Roscoe. Roscoe with a K, not a C in 1975 and it's this one of the f rare 60s action figures because in the 60s there wasn't much there was gi joe and a couple other things gi joe some gi joe knockoffs and um major matt mason there wasn't much made in the 60s but they made johnny hero 13 inch like this is the guy that barbie left ken for oh yeah <laughs> no. He look more fit than Ken. Yeah, he's taller than Ken. He's fitter than Ken. Look at those hands. Yeah, he got man <laughs> hands. Big man hands. He's fully dressed. His clothes are intact. And he's primarily a bendy action figure. And these are, it's hard to show you. He's, His so he's hands got the, all deformed. Yeah, like. rubberized skin. He's got, um, they're usually all degraded and rotted out and mm. his body's intact he's in really good condition his clothes are in good condition 
Um, you see the the plug. Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah, ask you about that. Yeah, he's got that plug in his hand because there's accessories. Mm -hmm. Johnny was the Olympic hero, okay, but he you could buy separate team uniforms for him. Okay. So and they were official, like they uh, they did baseball and football, so you could buy like a like a a, a Rams football uniform, mm -hmm. and you could buy a New York uh, Yankees baseball outfit. No. And the like a football or the baseball uh, bat or whatever could plug into this on his hand. Okay. And that's what that was for. And that's the significance of him being the Olympic hero. You were making him a professional. For those of you who aren't old enough to remember, there was an amateur status requirement for the Olympics. If you were a professional sports player, you were not eligible for the Olympics. So he came like this and you promoted him. Until the dream team came along. Yeah, until the dream team came and along. That went that was, out the window. That was the first time that was allowed. And you saw why and it was allowed. Why just, it wasn't allowed. Yeah, because that was like some of the best. Uh, that was the... Uh, they slaughtered. That was the pinnacle of basketball, right? Late 80s, early 90s was mm -hmm. the best basketball ever was, and now it's just crap. Yeah, Sorry, but, I know but, somebody's going to get mad. But, but they slaughtered those other teams. They did. It was ridiculous. So I remember that, and I actually saw some of the matches. And um, I appreciate the the how it was done though, yeah. because then you had they interviewed some of the some of the players from other countries. And, mm -hmm. You know, we're sidetracking a little bit here. Yeah, well. And I forget what who it was, uh, some player from another country, and they asked him about mm -hmm. that. And it was like, you know, you just they beat you by like eighty points or whatever. <laughs> how do you feel about that? And he was like, no, you know what? We're never going to learn if we don't play the best. So this is a great yeah. opportunity, and that's a great attitude. Yeah, plus, how many people can say, I played with Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, oh, yeah. um, Mike, Magic, Johnson, Magic Johnson, Scotty Pittman, all of those Th people. There was only one rookie on that team, yeah. and even the and rookie was overwhelmed. He was like, oh my God. He just happened <laughs> to be on the team. But I mean, who can say, I played with all of those people, if you wasn't already a professional basketball player. Yeah. Who can say in my lifetime I play with all of those people on one team? Yeah, what a, what you a day. know, yeah, that was amazing. But, but again, just yeah, back to what we rare did to find this in this yeah. kind of condition. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh wow, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you had a bunch of pickups. Yeah, actually, because if you remember, I got to my little um, just pulling away from action figures for a while because I got you know kind of burnt out. And I'm starting to pick up again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I actually got kind of excited about my pickups. I actually went there wanting something. So I got a bunch of Batman the Animated Series yeah. figures. And they were a good price. They weren't expensive. Yeah, and, and they're actually, traditionally mm -hmm. they're not. And that's why we did those videos. I mentioned it when we were filming, too. Is like, guys, you know, there's a lot of, like, 80s and 90s properties. You could still get really cheap. Yeah, so, you know, um, the first time in a long time I bought action figures was uh, last month at the Retro Toy Show. Yes. I actually bought some figures, um, and that helped spark my interest again. And I went online and actually bought something, two things. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I was really happy and excited about that because... Um, you know, I got my little feeling back, and I was already Mr. Freeze. Yeah, and I was already collecting Batman the animated series, and I want to beef that up as yeah. much as I can. And you fill this with water, and it squirts. Yeah, well, that <laughs> one won't. <laughs> um, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, the animated series. And it was a lot of Beetlejuice. Surprisingly, there. yeah, there were like four vendors of Beetlejuice. Yeah, and I filmed a bunch of them, but one guy seemed like he had all of the carded figures. Love that. Somebody, oh yeah. The original price tags on here, we'll show you again here in a second. Yeah, somebody else had, oh, this one came from, hold on, Nerd You. Yeah. Wait now, because I told him. See what you did? I told him I was going to shout him out. And Nerd You is Matthew Westlake and Daryl Weaver. And Darren. they're Oh, Darren. Darren Weaver. <laughs> and they're about to have a store. <laughs> oh, yeah. In Commerce, Georgia. And I think I've been to Commerce one time. I know it's kind of far from here. Um, yeah, but it's in 50... Well, I don't know if that... I'm not going to read that because I don't know if that's the, the address to the store. Yeah. But it says, follow us at, at Nerd, Nerd U Comics. Comics. What's that? 
That's on Mac Facebook? On Macari. Says, oh, is there something about, yeah, there. Yeah. Nerd comic, nerd you comics on Macari. I'm not sure. I, I, that yeah. might be, uh, that, that Facebook might, that and Instagram. That ampersand oh. might be, um. If y'all could see it. Yeah, that ampersand might be, uh. Yeah, but they were good. And, and I bought from them before. Instagram. They're a pretty good, good set of guys. And I've got this from them, too. Um. I think that's first team, isn't it? Is that a key? Yeah, it's the Green Lantern Corps, yeah. and in that comic lot we bought, it was a bunch of these in there, but not the first issue. And this is the first issue, which is um 201 because it falls in line with Green Lantern, yeah. but this is the Green Lantern Corps, which is within that. Yes. But I got both of these from them, and they're good guys. Like I said, they're about to. he said that they're about to open up a store. In commerce. Now, like I said, it's an address on here, but I don't know if that's the address to the store. Because the way he sound, they're about to open. Yeah. So, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I bought two Beetlejuice figures because I'm building up my little Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice is still uh, within the affordable range, I think, it, with the exception of the talking doll. Those mm -hmm. deluxe talking dolls can go for quite a bit now. Yeah. But th that's still an affordable figure. And then the last two that is clearance, more more uh, Batman. Toy Biz Batman. Uh huh. And I have the Batman, the big one, the six inch Batman, like yeah. this. So now I got the little ones. Which, you know, whatever. Bob the Goon. I ain't too big on the little figures, but that's fine though. You know. But all in all, we had a good time. Um, I was kind of nervous. I thought it was going to rain because it <laughs> rained. Power some... kick. Did Bob kick anybody in that movie? I don't think so. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, it had rained yesterday. Yeah. So they and weren't this sure. morning it looked like it wanted to rain. But it was parts outside, parts inside. But all in all, we had a good time. I was surprised by the amount of toys that was in, retro toys that was out there. Um, it, you know, we, we love seeing the vintage stuff. Yeah, and it was actually a couple of things I wanted because somebody looked like they had the entire um, Darkwing Duck and tail spins. Yeah. And those are like, and I've never seen like all of them. Mm -hmm. You might see onesie, twosies, but he, he seemed like he had the whole yeah. run or a good bit of it. Yeah. So um, that was just good to see. But again, like I said, you needed a small fortune if you really. <laughs> yeah, like I said, there was a, and who, see if anybody can guess what it was looking at the video. There's a couple of pieces there yeah. that I was just like, oh man, I just can't do it today. Yeah. Because I, I, I would have brought them home. I would have brought them home for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So were you out there today? Did you see us? Say hi. Um, if you liked this show, you know, we recommend it catch it next time yeah if you're able to catch it next time um please do give the video a thumbs up we hope you enjoyed that share it if you can subscribe if you knew all that good stuff mm -hmm. and if that's it then what more can we say but thanks for watching and we will see you again soon mm -hmm.